We turn things over to Spencer Buttermore with Core Sports to find out. Today on Core Sports, we take a look at all fall athletics for Goshen College. Many teams find themselves at the halfway point of the seasons, and many are looking to finish strong in conference play. My name is Spencer Buttermore, and we start by taking a look at the women's volleyball team. The women's volleyball team is just over halfway through the season and are starting the second half of conference play. The Leafs are 9-9 on the season and 4-6 and in the Crossroads League, which is good enough for 7th place. I caught up with Coach Jim Ruther to talk about the last couple of matches and what the rest of the season has in store. And we're joined by Coach Jim Ruther here. You, know, you talked about being about halfway through conference season. Now you guys are starting to replay teams. And you guys went uh, right at 4-4 four and four here through the first for the, through the first eight games of conference, what are you looking for out of the team to try and finish off this conference season and get a good spot for the tournament? Well, we want to finish in the top four, you know, so we can host. And to do that now, uh, we got to win every home match. I mean, we, we, we've got to come in and we've got to start looking at the away matches. You know, we end up with St. Francis down there. Uh, we've got to win that one. You know, we got to go with him, or Mount Vernon. Uh, we got to give them a good battle, and, and we think we can beat them. Uh, we've got a nice home stand coming up. Uh, with uh, Marion at home, we've got uh, Iwoo at home, we've got Taylor at home. You know, we, we've got to come out fireball ready to play those. Yeah, a lot of tough opponents coming into Goshen. So, I mean, yep. uh, home court advantage is such a key thing. I mean, not taking the bus trip, just, so. just being <laughs> yeah, just being here in your own home court and not taking the bus trip. Uh, we know that most bus trips are about uh, two to three hours here for every team. So what's that going to be like having the home court? home court here in the second half That's of the conference. That's going to be an advantage for us, and we have to take advantage of it. We didn't do that tonight, and we need to do that. We need to be ready to take advantage of home home court. Um, you know, we've seen everybody once. We see video all the time. We know pretty much what everybody's going to do. They also know what we're going to do. And that's something we have to make sure that uh, we change up a few things and uh, get ourselves ready. All right. Hey, thank you, Coach. Thanks for coming hey, over. Hey, thanks even. for having me. The Leafs will be in action again on October 7th when they take on Taylor University at home. Moving out to the pitch now and taking a look at the men and women's soccer teams, first starting with the men. The Leafs are sitting at 1-2 and two in conference play, which puts them at 8th place in the Crossroads League. Overall in the season, the Maple Leafs are 3-5-3 three, and, three, and are looking to get back to 500 as they prepare for the heart of conference play. The women have had a good half of the season, posting a 6-4-2 record overall and 2-0-1 oh in the conference. The 2-0-1 record puts the Leafs in second place in the Crossroads League, just behind Spring Arbor, who is 3-0 in conference play. On Saturday, October 8th, both the men and women's teams will be taking on Spring Arbor University. The women's team will be at home as they take on the Cougars, and that match will start at 2 o'clock. The men will be on the road against the Cougars with that match starting at 7 o'clock. And now on to the men's tennis team. We're here with a tennis player, actually, Eric Zucher. He's a sophomore, correct, on the team. And uh, so far, the men's tennis team, they're 4-8 and eight on the season, a little bit below that 500 mark, 3-5 and five in the conference, and they're going to be taking on Iwu in the first round of the conference tournament. So, Eric, uh, talk about uh, Iwu first, and one thing you guys are going to focus on in the match in the postseason against Iwu besides winning. If, if we start good with our doubles, I know we have a really good chance to win this match. So you just get off to a good start and yes, then really good start propel your guys up in the singles. And I know that uh, all our guys, all our, all our guys, we have to... Uh, how to say that? <laughs> the uh, skills to actually win against Iwu in every doubles or, or singles match. So I'm really confident, looking forward to the match. Yeah. You guys beat Iwu in the beginning of the season, closer to the beginning. You guys beat them five to four. So how does beating Iwu earlier in the season um, compare to this postseason? And always, it's always like that. In in just conference tournament, everything counts, and everyone is like really on their toes really nervous and they know it's about everything and they're gonna they're gonna do every one of them are gonna do their best shots and they're all gonna be like really on top and on the net and really on like really ready for that match and uh, kind of taking a look at the season overall right now what is one thing that you've seen the team improve on throughout the course of the season um so i don't know i don't know if you knew but like last year we we lost a lot of seniors mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and we knew it's going to be really hard to compensate that within one year but we got some good good guys this year and i'm really proud of them how they did so far um i don't know i feel like we definitely improved in our singles like we're really strong in our singles yeah okay so yeah you guys are going to take on iwu uh coming up here in the next uh it's actually going to be next week so it should be a great matchup. You guys have beat them earlier in the season, so we're going to have to see what to do with you guys. Uh, the women's tennis team actually has been eliminated from post-season post, -team, uh, post -season 
uh, play as they went 0-10 in the regular season and 0-8. But the men's team is getting ready to take on IWU. That's going to be coming up here in the next couple of days, and they're going to take on IWU. Eric Zutcher, thank you for joining us here on Core Sports. Thank you. And good luck in the next season. Thanks, Spencer. <laughs> and now on to the men and women's cross-country teams. Both teams have ran in three races so far this season. The men have had good showings, always placing in the top half of the field. The women have not had as many good places as the men, but have had respectable places through the three races. The teams will be running again on October 7th in the Bethel College Invitational in Mishawaka, Indiana. As the fall sports wrap up their season, we will continue to follow them and keep you up to date on the latest results. Reporting for Core Sports, I'm Spencer Buttermore.